Hey guys, Nate from playercourt.com. Today we're talking about how to hit with power and control. Okay, so we're talking about how to hit with power and control. Today's lesson is for player court members with a 70 and above. If you're not familiar with the player court rating system, man, get in there, check out that platform. The link's below. There's a competitive league with over 10,000 players. All right, get out there, improve your ranking, take the instruction, take the stuff you've learned and apply it. Get out there and play today. All right, so what we're talking about with enabling us to hit with power and control is something we're doing with the off hand, the non-dominant hand. All right, we'll show you that now. All right, so a lot of us out there, we know that power comes from this circular motion that leads to this lag, right? That's gonna give us big power as it catches up to the ball. It works like a bull whip, right? So as the racket climbs, it gets circular. I get into extension. As the hip drives, it enters the slot. Therefore, the lag, so you can see the racket there back behind me, and then it catches up to the ball. All right, so that's a part that we all know. We talked a little bit about power. Hopefully you're more familiar with that. If you're not, we'll link a video below that, that goes in depth about those specific mechanics. But what we're talking about today is something very specific with the left hand. And this is something Federer is extremely good at. We got a lot of guys on tours that do it, on the tour that do it, but this is something in particular that makes him look so stoic, right? That makes him look so still, helping him keep the head still. And what we're talking about is when the left hand for me as a righty, when the non-dominant hand for you, for you, uh, you, you lefties, right? Um, what we're talking about is when the hand stops. So what we often see is, is Fed working through this motion where he drops, right? But then what, something interesting happens. As he starts to initiate the swing through the hip, this hand actually pauses and he drives through, okay? And this enables him to keep control over the ball as well as it uncoils. So what we see sometimes are players over rotating, right? So they understand this position and at a high level, we deal with a lot of juniors that this happens to where suddenly there's an over rotation and this is pulling away too fast, right? And then the racket's playing catch up, it's uncontrolled power, right? So we really wanna make sure that it slows down. And this is, a, this is really how a bullwhip is gonna work, right? So if you can imagine if my racket was a bullwhip and I was pulling it back, there's a point where there's a pause, right? and then the rest of it's gonna snap. This ability to pause with my left hand as I get into this joint position here and it comes through and then through rotation is what's giving me a little bit of extra pop and giving me a whole lot more control, okay? We're gonna take a look at that in demo mode now. All right guys, so sometimes what we see is this over rotation where my arm is moving too fast and it just creates chaos through the stroke, all right? So what we're gonna work on now is controlling the left arm, right? So the arm is actually pausing, enabling my racket to catch up and then my shoulders work together. So from here, pause and then work through it. Pause, work through it. Pause and work through it. I really hope you enjoyed today's instruction. Fairly short, but hopefully really impactful. Guys, get out there, make sure you're being aware of what that non-dominant hand is doing and that you're not over-rotating and that by actually stopping the left hand in that rotation creates this bull whip like effect to the ball and you'll start snapping those forehands with more power and control in no time. Guys, this, this video, this instruction wasn't for everybody, all right? This is gonna be for a, a, a little bit of a higher level, all right? But if you're looking for video instruction that's tailor-made, specific to your level, make sure you check out the platform. Hit the link below, and there you're gonna get a ton of instruction from Scott and I that's specific to your skill level, and we're gonna pair you with players of the same skill level as well. If you liked the video, hit like. If you loved it, hit subscribe. Make sure you never miss another player core video again. We'll see you soon.